Knuckles is one of Sonic's oldest friends, and one of the most memorable characters in Sega's beloved franchise. Known for his honorable heart and serious attitude, Knuckles has managed to gain a reputation of being undeniably cool, and a fan favorite for those who like their speed mixed with brute strength. So today we're taking a look at the top 10 facts about Knuckles. Number 10 is Knuckles the Antagonist When Knuckles first appeared in the series in Sonic the Hedgehog 3, he was an antagonist of Sonic's. When Dr. Robotnik tricked Knuckles into thinking that Sonic and Tails were intent on stealing the Master Emerald. While Sonic and Knuckles are friends now, they still manage to maintain a rivalry. Knuckles may not be able to attain the speeds of Sonic, but his strength is supposed to be on the same impressive level as Sonic's speed, making the two worthy adversaries. He wouldn't become a playable character until Sonic the Hedgehog 3's follow up game Sonic and Knuckles, which was pretty much released at the exact same time. Anyway. Up next, number 9 is grapes. In the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 manual, it states that Knuckles' favorite food are grapes. This has been referenced in a few games too. Fans have gotten attached to the idea that Knuckles adores grapes though. There's a whole lot of fan art floating around the internet depicting his adoration of the purple fruit. Up next, number 8 is the Ann Knuckles meme. Knuckles is part of a popular meme originating from the 1994 Genesis game Sonic and Knuckles. At that point, Sega had introduced a lock on feature that allowed you to add cartridges onto existing games, which made it possible to play Knuckles in Sonic 3. This started up a meme called Ann Knuckles, due to the tacked on nature of the game and character. The meme made rounds on the internet several times, most recently reappearing in 2010. Then Sonic Mania added it as an easter egg by involving a mode that lets you play as Knuckles, with Knuckles as your sidekick, once you unlock the debug mode in the game. Up next, number 7 is Romances. While there aren't any explicit romances in the Sonic franchise minus Sonic and Amy, Knuckles is no stranger to a little bit of loving in the Archie comics. He's with Julie Sue, another echidna, who is his soulmate. The two share a soul touch connection. But in the games, Julie Sue never makes an appearance. But fret not, because fans still heavily ship Knuckles with another Sonic favorite, Rouge the Bat, who tends to have a very Batman Catwoman dynamic with Knuckles. And in Sonic Adventure 2, there's quite the flirtation between them. Up next, number 6 is his eye color. Knuckles is the only character in the Sonic franchise to have purple eyes. Although, they're not always that color. His eyes at other times have been blue. And in Sonic Battle, his eyes are both colors. Blue while fighting, and purple in the cutscenes. Up next, number 5 is different colors. In Sonic the Hedgehog 3, as well as Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, in all of the game's cutscenes, Knuckles is a different color. Ever so slightly, that is. He appears to be more of a pinkish tone than the color he is in the game when he's playable. This is because of palettes conflicting with the HUD item, something that was adjusted with future games, and as technology progressed. This isn't the only color issues that the character has been faced with, though. In Sonic the Hedgehog 3, his socks were colored yellow in the cutscenes. Up next, number 4 is spelling restrictions. Oddly enough, in several Sonic games, Sega had to alter the spelling of Knuckles' names to fit next to his life icon. In the Mega Drive games, his name appears as KTE, standing for Knuckles the Echidna. This is because there were only five letter slots on the display, which easily fit the likes of Sonic and Tails' names. Then it happened again in Sonic Drift 2, with Knuckles' name being spelled K N U C L E S due to space limitations. Up next, number three is Knuckles doesn't have ears. Echidnas do not have ears. Instead, they have large slits at the sides of their heads. This is why Knuckles and the other Echidna characters in the franchise aren't depicted with ears, whereas Sonic and the rest of the crew all have them. Also, worth noting, this is what an Echidna looks like. Bit of a difference between the two. Up next, number two is the initial concept. Knuckles originally was conceptualized as being Jamaican. There's even Sonic and Knuckles strategy guides with Knuckles dialogue including Jamaican slang. He was intended to have a Jamaican accent and go by the name of Dreads, which obviously referred to his dreadlocks and the fact that he was from an island race. But his cultural ancestry isn't the only shocking thing about his initial conception. Up next, number one is Nike. Likely the most surprising fact about Knuckles is that he was intended to be a cross promotion with Nike. The crescent shaped symbol on his body was initially supposed to be a Nike logo, to serve as a sponsorship deal between Nike and Sega for the Sonic and Knuckles game. Eventually the deal didn't come to light, and instead of a check mark on his chest, we got the now iconic moon crescent instead. Alright, there we have it friends. Which of these Knuckles facts surprised you? Let us know in those comments below. And as always, if you dug this video, feel free to show us some love and hit those like and subscribe buttons. And check out our Top 10 Sonic playlist on our channel if you want more blue blur. In the meantime, I've been Kelly Pally and this has been Top 10 Gaming. I'll catch you all in the next one.